It's a chance to give back, and I think isolation has brought that out. And it's our, it's our nurture, I think, element. Um, by being sort of being told to stay at home, this is a way to get out of that and to reach out on Zoom every week and have a chat with friends and make new friends. I mean, these are people that I hope will remain friends after this. These Toronto women who live in the beaches were once labelled as neighbours, but now they'd prefer to be called the Sandwich Sisters, a group of people donating food and other items to the city's most vulnerable. What we did was we established uh, pod leaders. So each pod leader runs a team. So the pod leader is in charge of uh, getting the food together, dropping it off to people's homes, and then he or she goes back the next day, the next morning, picks it up, and we drive it down to the shelter. And right now, as I said, we have about seven cars a week, approximately 3,000 items, sandwiches alone. Oh, good. The Sandwich Sisters have more than 250 volunteers, including students from TDSB schools like Earl Haig. They donate the food to local shelters, including the Good Shepherd. I call them to see like what their immediate needs are. And they said because they had to close their kitchen, they went from 300 uh, lunches a day to 1,000 lunches a day and counting as the pandemic got worse. Um, shelters were closed down, um, churches were closed down, so there's nowhere for the homeless to go. And as you know, there's tents set up. So we started with the uh, Good Shepherd, and now we have seven to eight causes that we cater to. And the Toronto Council Fire Native Culture Centre. It's very important because uh, it never stops. It's like breakfast, lunch, dinner every day. We feed hundreds of people and um, it just helps with the load. And you know, the stuff that they bring is amazing. You know, it's healthy, it's nutritious, and it just really helps with the load. It's a simple act of kindness, giving people the opportunity to give back while having the chance to connect with people during a time when many are indoors because of the pandemic. You can find more information on how you can get involved by heading to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. Brandon Rose, City News.